A lot of side hustles that the gurus talk about won't make you rich, and a lot of them should be avoided completely. I've earned enough money doing side hustles to quit my full-time job back in 2018, and my goal today is to help you save time, money, and a headache by sharing three side hustles that you should stay away from. I will show you the business model and a few reasons why it may not be worth it, and at the end, I'm gonna show you a super secret trick that I've used to build wealth. Have you ever thought about joining a multi-level marketing company or an MLM to earn some extra cash? Well, hold your horses there, buddy, because what you're about to discover might change your mind. Let me paint you a picture. You're scrolling through social media, you're minding your own business, and then suddenly you come across a post from Rob. Rob is one of those friends that you really haven't seen since high school, but apparently he's doing well for himself, or at least that's what it seems. But the post Rob is making is promising financial freedom, flexible hours, the opportunity to be your own boss. I mean, who really Really wouldn't want that right but does it sound too good to be true and if you have to ask the question it usually is but that's what these mlms are known for they lure you in with these flashy promises and testimonials but what they don't tell you is the harsh reality that's lurking right beneath the surface so let's play devil's advocate here so you take up rob on his offer and you sign up for the mlm that he's pitching just like with anything brand new you're excited you're motivated you you're ready to conquer the world but just as time goes on you realize that making money isn't as easy as they made it seem. And to be honest, here is the one thing that I hate the most about MLMs. You're being constantly pressured to buy inventory to maintain certain levels and to keep uh, fast bonuses and you're being hounded to meet different types of sales quotas. And then my biggest pet peeve of them all, constantly having to recruit new members. And before you know it, you're in over your head, you're drowning in debt from the inventory and you have completely run out of friends and family to annoy. So you resort to the whole same thing that Rob did. So you start posting on social media, even though you haven't really made a dollar yourself. But here's the hidden gem that you need to know about MLMs. The real winners are the ones that are at the top of that pyramid, the ones that are recruiting you and the ones that recruited them, not the hardworking people like yourself that are at the bottom of the pyramid. While you do have some edge cases of some new recruits finding some pretty decent success, the vast majority end up losing more money than they'll ever make. So what is the verdict? Are MLMs worth it? Are they worth your time? Are they worth your effort? They're not. Don't fall for the flashy promises or the allure to earn some easy money and instead focus on building sustainable side hustles that doesn't require you to recruit family and friends and invest your whole life savings. In fact, if you are looking for a legitimate side hustle, explore options like freelance work, online tutoring, or starting your own small business. Remember, success takes time, effort, and dedication, but with a little bit of the right mindset and the right approach, you can achieve your goals without falling victim to the these MLM traps. Now this next one, I'm gonna be honest, it hurts my heart because I've made a ton of money with it, but times are changing. So let me ask you, have you seen some of these blogging YouTube channels telling you how passive blogging is? Well, here's the thing, blogging used to be a perfect side hustle that didn't require you to show your face and you could scale it quite easily once you figured out the entire process. I've made a lot of money with blogging, but stick with me here because I'm about to explain to you why blogging today may not be what it once was. Unlike an MLM that requires you to pitch to your family and friends until you're blue in the face, blogging uses something called search engine optimization or SEO to get new customers. But back in September of 2023, Google released the helpful content update that completely decimated tens of thousands of smaller blogs and elevated websites like Reddit and Quora. So if you ever Google something recently, that's why the front page is so trash. Now, just to be clear, blogging isn't dead. It's just changed. The truth is that it's much more expensive to do SEO now, and unless you have a decent budget to get started, it may not be worth the effort unless you're okay with making very little money for the first 12 to 24 months. But here's the little hidden gem within all of this. If your idea is to get all of your traffic or visitors to your website from Google and nowhere else, and not building up any type of other traffic sources like maybe YouTube or sending people directly to your website from a newsletter, it's probably not worth your time because Google doesn't want you to solely depend on them, even though that's what they've been rewarding people for years now. So it kind of hurts me to say all of this, but it's the truth. But I will give you this. If you do think that you have the stomach for blogging and would like to give it a try, here is what is working now. First, partner up with a business that has a website that they aren't really using. And you can do this by just finding a local business in your area, like a restaurant or maybe a plumber. I don't know, you just have to be creative. Throw the name of their website 
website into a tool called Ahrefs and see what the domain rating is. If that rating is over 40, call the business, pitch them the idea of putting content on their site that can bring in revenue using affiliate marketing and just give them a cut of the profits. It costs the business nothing to do this and they only get paid when you get paid. You may have to pitch a few businesses before one actually says yes, but it is worth it and you can cut the time that you make money with blogging to weeks rather than a few months or a few years. All right, so I'm gonna change it up a little bit. What if I told you that Forex trading is a sure way to become a millionaire overnight? Well, I'd be lying to you because it's not. All right, check this out because I'm about to save you from financial disaster. Let's expose Forex. Now tell me if you've seen this before. Maybe you're on a YouTube video and someone in the comments is thanking this random person for introducing them to John, who is a Forex millionaire and how it has changed their lives. And all you have to do is visit a very sketchy looking weird website, join this mysterious telegram where it all is going to be revealed to you sounds pretty ridiculous right well because it is but what is sad is that tons of people fall for this every single day and YouTube can't even keep up with the comments it's just annoying but it's not just YouTube comments it's emails it's text messages it's hacked Instagram and Facebook accounts in fact I had a family members Facebook account hacked and they used AI to clone his face telling people to sign up for some weird Forex training that is wild. And this happens not just with normal people, but with celebrities and big YouTubers as well. Now, let's just think about this logically. Any business opportunity that uses this type of shady tactics to get new members can't be worth it, right? Right? And trust me, I know that this largely comes from the bad apples that are promoting Forex, but the companies themselves, they're paying these affiliate marketers and they're allowing this. So they aren't 100% free from blame either. But you know, let's just go into it. What happens if you were to give Forex a try? You would start with small investments, hoping to see exponential returns from all of the great training that you got from your recruiter. You may even make a few bucks on some early trades, getting you hooked. But as you dive deeper, you realize that Forex trading is far from easy money. The market is volatile, it's unpredictable, and every success story that you hear, there are countless other tales of individuals losing their entire savings in the blink of an eye when the market market swings. And don't even get me started on margin trading where one wrong move can leave you in debt to your eyeballs. Look, here is the truth these scammy Forex promoters won't tell you. Successful Forex traders aren't just lucky gamblers. They spent years honing their skills, developing strategies, and understanding the market trends, knowing when to get in and when to get out. And even then, they still often get it wrong. Forex is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a complex financial market that requires dedication, discipline, and a deep understanding of economics. So is Forex trading worth it? Not quite. While there are some people who do have some decent success with Forex trading, the reality is that the vast majority end up losing more than they gain because it's such a high risk game that's not necessarily suited for everyone. But fear not, I have something for you. Let me show you my super secret strategy for doing side hustles the right way so that you can actually make some real money. I'm sure you notice a common thread through all of this. If you're looking for something that's quick and it's gonna work overnight, it's likely that no side hustle will ever work for you and you need to adjust your strategy and your way of thinking. Albert Einstein said that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world, but here's the important part. He who understands it earns it, but he who doesn't pays it. Look, instead of risking your hard-earned money in too many time-wasting side hustles that you see online, consider investing in more stable and predictable avenues such as index funds, growth stocks, and even real estate, and do what Einstein said with letting compound interest be your friend. And the cool part is you can take advantage of that right now by investing, even if it's a little, and doing so consistently, dollar cost averaging over a long period of time. But if you are anything like me, you still have that scratch to itch when it comes to more risky side hustles or businesses. So to solve that, put money aside and try more risky pursuits with that money, but just be okay with the fact that you just might lose it. And don't forget that time is money. So don't waste too much time on something that's not giving you a decent return in a reasonable amount of time. I believe in you. It's about time that you believed in you. Take care.